Hello YouTube, welcome to Sunday in the Shop. It's Saturday, I always do my video a day early, and I'll probably post it this evening. We've been busy getting, uh, we got a furnace vent to put in yet, because uh, I had to do some carpenter work, so the furnace installers, they're not allowed to do carpenter work, so that's not too bad a job, I'm not going to show nothing like that. We're just running a duck to another room, but anyway... Uh, we picked up some some supplies. You, I always do this on Sunday. We picked up some supplies, okay? I'm going to show you that. I do like showing new stuff to get in case somebody's interested in it. Uh, they can see that I've got it and what my opinion is. Here's something I highly recommend for what I got it for. Putting in the wife's new dryer, we put some scratches in it because it had to be... Drug through the bathroom door, barely fit to the bathroom door because that's where our wash and dryer is, is in the bathroom. Just the way the house was set up. Uh, we put some scratches on it. So we went to AutoZone and found this. I don't think I got to take a picture of it. Uh, the end is like a ballpoint ink pen. I mean, there's a little ball in there you push, you shake it, and then when you push it and squeeze it, the paint comes out. That works so so. But, the good part was it saved me. It's got the old-fashioned brush on it. See that? That's what saved me. Now, I plan on doing some tools and stuff like that. Or, I don't know, you could probably try it on some tires. Like, say you had small, like, bicycle tires or something. I don't have nothing really to paint, but... Uh... I really don't want to mess with right now. I'd rather make a save it for a video someday if I'm going to paint some lettering. But I'm going to take this back in the house and keep it in the house so it stays nice and warm. And then I'll have it. So I thought I'd show that. Maybe I, I could, I like taking, sometimes you'll see I'll take pictures this way. You can always flip it around to your computer. But I don't think I have to take a picture of it. Bright white. That was the thing. On the white dryer, I, I had two choices. I picked bright white, and you could not tell it. You could see a few little where it indents, where it scratched the paint, but where it just scratched it, you can't tell it. When you're when you're two, three feet away looking at the dryer walk around, to, you're not going to see the scratches it put on. So, this gets you out of a jam there. So, that was a must-have repair. Okay, we'll pause for a second. We'll go off to the next. I always do that next item up for biz. I watched this old game show network. You know, it has the old password on it and tell the truth. I can't tell you. I get these free internet channels because we don't have satellite anymore. So I've been stuck stuck in that mode uh, back in time in the 70s, 80s there. Like, press your luck. And some of them I watch, some I don't. It depends on how bored I am when I'm sitting there working, doing something on the computer. I'll put it there. Because I don't watch a whole lot of TV. I watch my shows in the evening. Uh, if I'm stuck in the house in wintertime, I'll watch more daytime shows. But we got the heater going. It's chilly out here. But let's pause, and then we'll be right back. We don't want it to be a big, long video of uh, showing all these items here. But uh, they are stuff for future projects, so I want to show it. Because uh, that way, when I use the stuff, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. So stay tuned. Okay, the next item up for bids. We went into a Hobby Lobby and we found this. I hate taking pictures anymore, but you can see the brand name. Two-part epoxy. If you've all ever seen, if you all have ever seen like the Harbor Freight stuff with the double syringe, and you've messed with that junk as much as I have, I've had enough of it. I mean, it's not bad epoxy. I've even tried the Gorilla brand, and I think Harbor Freight might be a little bit tougher stuff. You know what it's like. It's messy. You gotta wipe the double tip off. Put that plug back on. Here, here's two different bottles. Now this ain't cheap, but uh, you get four and a half ounces in each bottle. So you're getting like nine ounces total. Okay, we did a little experiment. This has been about 12 hours overnight. We put some on here. and Everybody knows epoxy don't stick to plastic. If you don't, you'll figure it out. Uh, see how that peels right off? It's not bad stuff. It's 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 gonna be brittle. 
But it depends on what you use epoxy for. I mean, people hold stuff together like glue with it. I use it to seal stuff. Depends on what you're sealing. Uh, I fixed like my blowgun where I cracked the threads and I just epoxy the fitting in it. I show them out. But it's not bad stuff. You can use it to coat something. Uh, I think it does say don't necessarily keep it. Uh, water is not really super waterproof. I don't know where that says that at on the package. I really don't want to take a picture of it, but uh, you didn't get no you don't get no paperwork with it. Whatever's wrote here and wrote here is what you get. Resistant most chemicals. I wouldn't think you could uh yeah, not for long term immersion in water. But uh, it has its uses. It really does. Epoxy. Uh, like, say you're doing your knife scales, like I do when I make homemade knives and stuff. So, it seems a little more brittle if I use, like, the grill, it would be more flexible. But, it, see, that it took a little bit for me to break that. You know, it, not that it isn't hard to break, but. Not bad stuff. It's not super clear. I mean, I've got fingerprints all over it. Probably clear enough. So, enough of that. Just one more little quick view. Hobby Lobby stores. I'm sure you can probably find it anywhere. You look up the name. Bob Smith Industries. Okay, one more pause and we're going to go out to something else. Model car paints for doing wrenches and stuff detailing. So, I was happy to get that. I needed a set. I can show you a box of old paint I got that's old and decrepit bottles but uh, I'd rather show you the new stuff but I have some of the old paints like where you paint your tail lights and blinker lights it's that reflective sparkly yellow and then like your reds call like stoplight red if you're into model making and you, you know what I mean when it comes to that kind of paint I have some of that old paint that's still good but it's starting to dry out so I got me another bottle of thinner and I was warned by a guy that built hobby stuff for years do not use mineral spirits to thin your tester's paint. Buy the thinner. This might be thinner, but make sure it says thinner on it. Use mineral spirits. Your paint's never really going to dry. It'll look gooey. So stay tuned. We'll go on to my paint set there. Okay, we lowered the camera down. I got this nice blue towel. I had this on my chair, actually. To make it so to cover my chair, and then I had whatever else on it. But I decided to use it for a backdrop. I dropped it on the floor and got dirt all over it. Okay, these aren't cheap. But, you get the basics. Might be some glare. Get your gloss yellow, gloss white, metallic silver, metallic gold, gloss red, gloss black, your thinner, gloss green, and dark blue. So, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. You get a little bottle of thinner, and the trick is, you're going to clean your brushes. Clean them in your little bottle. I don't know if you ever did that shaky, shaky with the brush thing and do the bob rock. But no, you kind of do that in the bottle. You kind of, I don't know if you do that. You kind of flick the brush down in the bottle so it washes it, and all your junk falls to the bottom. So, yeah, you, you pour out of here and keep your little bottle filled. You, you pour out of here if you want some thinner, you can take an eyedropper. And I do have an eyedropper somewhere. But these are going to be nice. Detail and wrenches, paint and small stuff. Like say I did an air gauge years ago. Uh, for your air compressor, I painted a dial with the red. And I'm out of these basic colors. So, kind of spandy, but not bad. I mean, you're not going to get nothing cheap anymore. So, there's that. Here's the bottle of thinner. And I had another bottle like this. Somewhere and I used it. Not afraid to show the price. I don't get paid to show you this stuff. I always put it in the description. Uh, that way YouTube knows I'm not out to get paid to show products. I'm sharing what I find. This is a nice bottle. If you rip this plastic cap off, see where it's metal underneath? Can you see that? You can have an old school bottle. And this is a nice bottle to save. I had one. I uh, used it for whatever I put in it. But, you know, I like recycling. That's a nice square bottle. You know, to reuse. So, uh, that's probably worth a buck to get the glass bottle somewhere. Okay, enough of that. We will show you real quick a knife. Then we're going to go show you some tires that we got for our other garden tractor. Okay, 
I go to a Kevy's gas station, okay? And they have some knives in a case, some are $20. This was like $13, okay? Well, the neighbor helped me out, the neighbor kid. And the other neighbor kids helped me, I gave him knives. So this is a new neighbor kid, so uh, he's going to get a few things from me because he's going to help me clean up my workshop. He's working, so he's got about one day a week. So I'm hoping to be able to get him to help me here because my shed needs clean before I can run the wood stove. This is in the wrong box. It's not an M Tech. It's like an M Tech knife was rebranded. It's he just starting out knife collector, but this is kind of nice. I mean, you could use it for working, but it says Master USA. Of course, we all know where it's made. Let's see if I can get the number in there. If anybody really cared to look it up, I mean. It's kind of a little flashy for me. Kind of mine's like alligator skin. But it's not a bad knife for working. I mean, stuff like this, I'm not going to afraid to use it for work. Uh, but then again, they're not super tough. I had my straight knife, but it was really not that tough. I went back to my Kershaw for a work knife, and I abused that knife. I use it for a putty knife and everything. In fact, I have it with me right now. I mean, I use this for a putty knife. I've chipped the blade. I've, I use this to carve, cut, scrape scrape off gaskets I mean I totally abuse this knife it's loose in here I don't care because the screw can't tighten up anymore so that's my work knife I don't really collect a lot of knives I I do have a small collection I bet I don't even have a dozen anymore but thought I'd show that you know for like 13 bucks you want to give somebody a gift of a knife you know and get him used to it uh, I kind of like the thumb thing too, but not bad. $13. I mean, what are you going to get for your money? But like I said, I like the handle. And I know he'll like the handle for using it because he's got smaller hands than me. But, you know, I know he's going to like that, the grip of this thing. I, he's got some a fancy looking knife I seen he had the other day. So there's that in the wrong box. They just walked back and got a box. But somebody's going to be mad. They're, you know. If you're a collector, you want the right box, but I didn't care at the time. It was just something for a gift. Okay, I'm going to take a break. We're going to go one last item. It's tires for my John Deere 70. John Deere 60 runs. The carburetor is kind of junky, but that old Tecumseh motor, you've, if you've seen the videos, it runs. I drove around the yard. Uh, I need to get a gas tank for it. Gas tanks are totally rusted. I'm, a, I'm going to try to clean them out sometime. Uh, so I can use the original gas tank because they have that glass sediment bowl. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to put the mower deck back on the little thing. It's just a cute little toy. But my knees hit the steering wheel. It's small. But the 70 is going to be turned into a hot rod tractor. So a little hint there coming up. I don't know when the project will ever get started. I'm going to try to start out before winter. If we get the shop cleaned out, I'll have enough room to put it up on some kind of stand or table and do some fabricating on the frame. Uh, do some designing. I really don't weld inside, but I can do a few tack welds, get it outside, and then do all all. So it's going to become a hot rod. It, it's going to be uh, kind of unique. It's going to be lowered to the ground. I'm designing this in my mind. It will look still kind of look like a riding lawnmower, but it's going to be lowered, lowered down, not a rat rod, but it's going to be. It's going to. I'm trying to make it look kind of like a hot rod. I want to change the axle and stuff and I don't want to go into detail on here in this video but we'll have a video on it before winter where I'll explain and show you what I want to do to it. it depends on the weather it's supposed to warm back up but it's only 48 degrees I'm running my heater out here and it is chilly I'm wearing a stock cap and sweatshirt sweatpants so stay tuned this is too long but one last item is to show you the tires I bought for it okay we're gonna try to get this in frame now, if you look at my John Deere 60, this is what's on it. 15, <clears throat> excuse me, 15 tall, 6 inches wide on a 6 inch rim. Now, the tires that's on that 70 are really small, 5 inch wide, they're only like 13 inches tall. And I like the look of these, okay? Let's see if we can get them in there. See where they're squished when they ship them? 
There was three choices of these on Amazon. If you want the link to this, you let me know in the comments and I'll put the link in there and I'll pin your comment to the top. So if you want to be the top comment, I don't do that. I never say please rate link. I, if you want to watch my channel, you're going to watch it. If you get a sub, you get a sub. I don't do that. That's just the way it is. They're track guard. Now, I don't know what they say actually on Amazon. But on here, there is a logo, which I'm going to put to the inside. I don't like this look because there's like your serial number and everything. This is the side you'll see. And I don't like that the dang... Uh, tire valve is on the inside. But it does protect it when you rub up against stuff. I'm sure there's a reason they did it. But these are nice little implement tires. I had three choices of these. Average of $20 to $30 a pair. Okay. I read the reviews. People complained that they banded these things into a triangle and they're deformed for life. I've had people complain that they squish them. I'd rather take the squish, wouldn't you? Because what I'm going to do is heat these up with a heat gun. I'm going to have stuff like I showed you on my other tires, the car tires. My mud tire, where it's going to spread like this for like about two days. So they're going to be spread out like this and heated with a heat gun. Okay. So this is going to air eventually. This is what you got to worry about. You want these things wide like this. So I'm going to have them like this to take the heat gun to them. Then when they cool down and get cold, they're not going to go back in. Because these are hard to put on a car tire. Because I do not have a machine that does it. I take a vise, mine my vise, and I put a big bolt down there to put the rim on. I'll use the vise grips to, or a pin to lock through the valve stem hole. I've done that before, and then that's hard to do that because then you're going to get the valve stem in. And I've done it taking them apart. I've actually cut the valve stem off and shoved the rod in there and everything to hold it. But there you go. I've got to try to show you these up close. These are nice, cool tires. Because I'm going for a hot rod look. And I will try to include a picture of the 70. Now, I might forget. I've said that before and I forget. Of what the back tires look like. They look like a knobby tire off an ATV. Well, I want these on the front. So, I'll try to include a picture that kind of shows the dinky little tires on it. Because you've all seen the John Deere 60 if you watch my channels. There you go. That's it for the week. Uh, we're not even going to try to take a picture of these. We've turned around. But this is my choice. There's like three choices. There was Kenda, another brand, and I read the reviews. And these look the toughest. And I'm don't quote me, but I'm trying to think if the picture of this had stems on it. Stems for small lawnmower stuff company. Uh, the way it looks, you gotta be a dealer to order from there. But uh, the picture was stolen from somewhere else for Amazon. Uh, even though it was your shipped and sold by Amazon. But there you go. Nice, nice tire. They really are. I think I made the best choice for the implant style. Like I said, they'll be ballooned out. When they're aired up, they get a crown to them. So they're really cool looking like would go on a real tractor. That's the look we wanted. So thanks for watching. We are out of here. We'll see you next week.